Good morning, everyone. Here we are back again. I hope you're all here, and I hope, so glad to see you all. And today we have Leah with us, and she is going to be um, a part of our group. And we want to start by remembering, always remember that Jesus loves you. Jesus loves Avery. Jesus loves Adeline. Jesus loves Deacon. Jesus loves Shay. Jesus loves Adam. Jesus loves Penelope. Jesus loves Miles. Jesus loves Lucy. Jesus loves Jack. Jesus loves Andrew. Jesus loves Jordan. Jesus loves Brian. Jesus loves Katie. Jesus loves Caitlin. Jesus loves Abby. Jesus loves Caden. Jesus loves Ansley. Jesus loves Bentley, Jackson, Luke, Sydney, Easton, Riley, Ethan, Anthony, Leo, Austin, Will, Emma, and of course, Jesus loves me. And we, we, we always want to remember that. So we're going to start out with singing our song. And last week we talked about how Jesus died for each one of us. So we're going to sing the two verses. Okay, now we're going to sing it not with everybody's name. We're going to do like we did last week. And when we get to a part, we're going to, and you're just going to put your name in there. Okay, so here we go. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves. Yes, Jesus loves Leah. Yes, Jesus loves Jana. The Bible tells me so. And now the next verse. Jesus loves me, he who died. Heaven's gates to open wide. He will wash away my sin. Let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves. Yes, Jesus loves Miss Claire. Yes, Jesus loves all of us. The Bible tells me so. Okay, and we know that since Jesus loves us, what does he do? He wants to come in and he wants to live inside of us. So he knocks, knocks, knocks at the door of my heart. Jesus knocks, knocks, knocks at the door of my heart. Jesus knocks, knocks, knocks. At the door of my heart, open and let him in. Close up. Going to keep him there forever. Now today we're going to talk about how <laughs> God made each one of us very special and very unique. And no matter how old or how young we are, whether we're a boy or a girl, what the color of our eyes are, what the color of our hair is, what the color of our skin is. No matter what, we have we are all different, but we are all remember we are all soldiers in the Lord's army, and we are all to live for Him. And how do we li live for Him? He tells us when He comes in and lives inside of us, He puts a light inside of us, and then we are to let that light shine, and that is us letting Jesus shine out of us. So we're going to put up our light, and we're going to sing. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Won't let Satan eat it up. 
I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Now today, remember I said we're going to talk about how we're special. And so we have another new little cute song that we're going to teach you. And um, don't be upset if you don't remember it right away. We're going, to, we're going to tell you the words first and show you the hand motions, and then we'll sing it. And we're, we're going to start singing this again, because we have to remember that God made you special. Each one of us. He made Leah special. He made Jana special. He made me special. And he made you special. Very special to him. And the song goes, I am special. And you point to yourself. I am special. I am special. Don't you see? And put your hands like binoculars. Don't you see? Don't you see? Someone very special. Someone very special. Because God made me. Okay, now we're going to try singing it through once. Try it with us. If you don't get it, that's okay. We're going to be practicing it for quite a while, okay? So here we go. I am special. I am special. Don't you see? Don't you see? Someone very special. Someone very special. Because God made me. God made me. And I want you to remember that. You are very special. Now our story today is going to be from quite a while back, you have to think. Now, the last time that we were together in church, we watched a Veggie Tale. Do you remember the Veggie Tales videos? That's the silly vegetables to talk. You know, and we, we always find them silly. And we watched a Veggie Tale on Esther, Queen Esther. Maybe you remember it, maybe you don't. But we're it, when we read you the story, you're going to remember. And we're going to read the story in a certain special way. So, we want to remember that Esther had a lot of reasons to be afraid because of a bad name, man named Haman. And Pastor Pete talked in the sermon last week to the big people about how we have the coronavirus today and many people are afraid. But just like Esther, we can trust in Jesus and not be afraid. Now, I want you to stop your video, stop the video for a moment, pause it here, and go find, if you know where it is, your kazoo. And if you can't find your kazoo, or you have something else that can be used as a noise maker, or you just have your mouth, we're going to need that for when we read the story. So if you stop the video right now and get it and come back, then we'll be ready to hear our story. Okay, so every, this, is, this is called Purim, and it's been celebrated by the Israelites for over 2,400 years. It's a true story. It's in the Bible. It's found in the book of Esther, and um, it's been something that, that's been talked about, but you have fun with it, too. So if you have your kazoo, get it ready. We have some things that are called groggers. They make a little bit of noise. Next year, we'll have plenty of these for all of you when we, when we celebrate this again. But what we have to do is, Leah's going to read a page in the story. Jane is going to read a page. And I, then I'm going to read. And every time we say the name Haman, because remember, he was the bad guy, if you remember anything about it. We, we're going to make... 
Dana, are you going to have the kazoo? Blow your kazoo? Yeah. <laughs> or yell, or whatever, okay? <laughs> the idea is we want to not even speak Haman's name. So we're going to start. Leah's going to start reading to us. A new country had come to power, and the Israelites had to live under the rule of King Xerxes of per Persia. King Xerxes wanted a wife from among the most beautiful girls in Persia. He chose Esther. Esther was a poor girl, but she, as smart as she was pretty, she was everything the king wanted, but Esther also had a secret. She was an Israelite, and her cousin Mordecai was the Israelites' leader. If the king found out, found out he might not want to marry her. Marry the king, Mordecai said, but keep you the secret that you are an Israelite. The Persians don't like us. On her wedding day, Esther felt like the most beautiful princess. The king placed a crown on her head, and in, and in her honor, he held a banquet. Their special day was a holiday for the whole kingdom. But one man did not want them to live happily ever after. Be ready. There was a bad man named Haman. <laughs> who worked for King Xerxes. He hated the Israelites and made a plan to have all of them killed. Esther's cousin Mordecai went very carefully to the palace and slipped a secret message to Esther. Mordecai's note said, Haman! <coughs> wants to kill the Israelites. Help us! Mordecai told Esther, Maybe God has made you the queen at this time so you can protect God's people. With her life in great danger, Esther went to the king with a special request. She decided that if she had to die, she would die serving God. For two nights, Esther made special dinners for Haman <laughs> and King Xerxes. After the meals, her husband said, Esther, I'll give you anything you want, up to half my kingdom. Aha, Esther thought, it's time to sell my tell my secret. Save me and my people, she said. Your worker, Haman, <laughs> is trying to kill us. What? The king shouted. He didn't care that Esther was an Israelite. When he learned that she might have been killed, he had Haman <laughs> punished. King Xerxes was kind to the Israelites, and to this day, Esther is remembered for protecting the lives of her people so that Jesus could be born through this family. I hope you, under I hope you heard the story, and I hope you <laughs> understood it a little bit more, and it told you that es Esther was very special, and you are very special. The Bible tells us, for I know that God says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, Lord. And even before you were born, Jesus has a plan for your life. You may not feel like you're someone important, but if you're willing, he can use you in wonderful ways. Because always remember, Jesus has plans for you and they're special plans. He has special plans for Leah. He has special plans for Jaina. He has special plans for me. And he has special plans for each one of you, each of his children. And he wants only good things for you. And he wants to help you in that way. So what you can do is you need to remember always that you are special. So we sing, I am special. I am special. Don't you see? Don't you see? Someone very special, someone very special, because God made me, God made me, and you are very special. And you are special because, whose army are you in? Whose army are you in, girls? girls? God. The Lord's army. You are in the Lord's army, so we stand up. 
push our chairs in so that we can do our hand motions without killing each other. Are we there? We're going to have to march close to each other, so when we start to fly, let's not stick our hands in anybody else's face, okay? I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never zoom on the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I may never march in the infantry. Ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never zoom or the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. And since we're in the Lord's army, we are going to do his work. And we are going to let our light shine. And we are going to do the best we can and help people and not be afraid. Because somewhere in outer space... God has prepared a place for those who trust him and obey. Yeah! Jesus will come again. And though we don't know when, the countdown's getting lower every day. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Somewhere in outer space, God has prepared a place for those who trust him and obey. Yeah, Jesus will come again, and though we don't know when, the countdown's getting lower every day. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! And we close by singing, Baruch Hashem HaMashiach Yeshua. Baruch Hashem Adonai, Baruch Hashem HaMashiach Yeshua, Baruch Hashem Adonai, Baruch Hashem Adonai. Behold be, and blessed be the name of the Messiah, Jesus. Spend this week, go. Don't be afraid, let your light shine, and remember, you are very special. Bye till next week.